few years ago, the fate of small-scale industries in India was in jeopardy. Hundreds of units were at the verge of closure. Thousands of workers were living under the fear of losing their jobs. Reason being, non-compliance of the waste water discharge standards prescribed by statutory authorities. But a novel technology has made the turnaround. Common effluent treatment plants popularly known as CETPs are at the core of transformation. CSIR National Environmental Engineering Research Institute NIRI at Nagpur designed and developed CETPs for installation at various SME clusters across India. Our institute NIRI when it started working for small scale industries, it was not economically feasible that each one of them can have their own treatment plant. And if they want to, they would actually become un, uh, uneconomical for, for the whole operation. So way back, almost 20, 25 years back, it was thought that we could have common effluent treatment plant and uh, Neri started designing some of them. And a few of those which were done in the beginning, uh, they were probably first in the world that a common effluent treatment plant was conceived, designed and finally implemented. And it's a, it's a novel thing because we look at uh, mixing all the effluent which is coming from multiple industries and when they are uh, put together, uh, we, we can bring the cost down, uh, the process efficiency is very high and the outcome which comes out is much cleaner water. To promote CETPs, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India launched a modified CETP scheme in 2012 which provides 50% of the cost as central subsidy. Since then, CSIR NIRI is vigorously engaged in designing, construction, commission and upgradation of CETPs in various industrial sectors across the country. Prior to commissioning or upgradation a CETP in a specified industrial cluster, scientists of CSIR NIRI analyze and characterize affluence and do treatability and feasibility studies to customize it accordingly. However, a typical CETP comprises unit operations and processes. Affluents are collected from individual units and routed to CETP for treatment. Sampling is done to assess quality of wastewater on set parameters. Affluent is then offloaded. Affluents collected in collection sump are pumped to screen and grit chamber to remove mainly large objects, grit and sand. Affluent is then routed to equalization chamber where through physical process flow of waste water is equalized and thus its characteristics. Waste water flows to flash mixer for addition and reaction of chemicals and goes down to flocculator where impurities get coagulated. Then waste water which is now a little thick due to chemical reactions is passed through primary clarifier for physico-chemical treatment and subsequent aeration. For biological treatment, the affluent is routed to secondary clarifier and bio-oxidized in aeration tank. Meanwhile, the sludge is separated from each of the clarifiers and stored for further disposal as per standard norms. In the tertiary phase, secondary waste water is passed through sand filter and then activated carbon filter for ultimate treatment. The final treated effluent from the CETP meets the statutory norms. In this complete process, electricity is used at only two points for pumping water. Rest of the flow is maintained by gravity. Thus, CETPs are of eco-friendly nature itself. However, CSIR NIRI modifies and refines the standard treatment procedure as per requirement of the specific industrial cluster. Moving towards upgradation and advancement, CSIR NIRI implemented zero liquid discharge norms in CETPs of dyeing and bleaching units at Tirupur in Tamil Nadu. Use of membrane bioreactor, advanced oxidation process, ultrafiltration and reverse osmosis have made this cluster first in the country to comply with zero liquid discharge norms. CSIR NIRI has excelled itself as a champion designer, developer and erector of state-of-the-art CETPs. Currently, nearly 200 CETPs are operational in the country, out of which more than 25% are commissioned by CSIR NIRI alone. 
CETPs are helping SMEs to meet and comply with wastewater treatment norms as prescribed by statutory authorities in cost-effective manner. The fundamental approach is reduce, recycle, reuse and reclaim. Use of treated effluent for different purposes is another highlight impact of CETPs aligning it with Clean India movement. Concept of CETP is making effective use of human, technical and natural resources in a financially sustainable manner. No wonder CETPs designed by CSIR NIRI are making waves across India for immense utility, cost effectiveness and societal impact.